we're here at the Emory-Riddle uh, Robertson Aircraft uh, Crash Investigation Site. And this is a, a seven acre site containing approximately a dozen air crash reconstructions that where the India, NTSB has provided Emory-Riddle with uh, aircraft from various uh, accidents. And they've actually brought the aircraft here and using the NTSB reports and also using photographs from the actual accident scene, they've totally reconstructed uh, the accident. Case Marty, what we have is an airplane that stopped for a refueling stop and uh, the technician put the wrong type of fuel in it and what happened is that as you and how we found out is just by actually opening the gas tank and smelling it, you smell that it's a different type of gas for this particular type of airplane. So it took off and as soon as the gas lines were empty of the old gas, it literally uh, had engine starvation and crashed, and that's the situation we find ourselves in. Uh, this one was a tourist uh, turboprop, and uh, it was, um, uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure if I remember well, it was in the Grand Canyon, and uh, it was involved in a flat spin, so the problem for this particular one is that it was a loading problem, it was a CFG problem, center of gravity problem where it became uh, uh, unresponsive and it actually started to spin and this is the end result. Practice in full crosswind landing situations. Um, we've got a visual system that we're creating for it as well where we're just having a runway and so the student can learn how to manipulate the rudders and the aileron to compensate for direct crosswind landings. Uh, given different speeds, we can do wind speeds up to 30 miles an hour crosswind. And so you will run out of rudder authority after about 25 or so on this training device. As soon as we're slow enough, go flat one. Okay. We're at Kitchener, Boston. Don't worry. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't want to get both slow enough. It's cool. <laughs> no. Your speed's actually been pretty good. Yeah. If you want, so I can go flat one. Well, it's we're uh, yeah, they're pretty cool. 